the line wife, let me tell you how you can actually help these linemen during a storm like Hurricane Burl in Texas. This is different for every lineman and every situation. So before you are like, I'm a line wife and this is not how it works. Blech. A lot of the times the hotels are out of power. The places to eat are out of power. Remember, these guys are coming from all over the country. They've flown in with just one bag and their tools. Listen to me. Do not approach a crew when they are working. Do not stop on the side of the road. Do not stop on the side of the highway. Do not approach whenever there is someone in the bucket. If you happen to see linemen out in the wild, maybe at a gas station, you might see them posted up in a Walmart parking lot. You will see them. They will be about. Then you can do these things. If you're not busy, drive up to them, ask them what they need. Or you can just go shopping for them and I'm gonna give you a list of things that they're gonna want, okay? Energy drinks. Do not do sugar-free. Monsters, Red Bulls, this is not the time where they are worried about what they're eating. These are blue collar men. Snacks, Little Debbie's. So last night that the guys had a sandwich for dinner, and if you know, working in Texas heat and the humidity, a sandwich for dinner probably ain't gonna cut it for a lot of these guys who are ready for some steak and potatoes. I would not make anything homemade. People are not always good people. I know that your intentions are probably pure, just don't make them anything homemade unless you ask first and they say yes. Baby powder is king. If you can find them baby powder or foot powder, foot powder is a huge one because they're taking showers in, um, they're taking showers in trailers most of the time and they are hundreds of guys taking showers in these trailers. They all come home with foot fungus. So anything for chafing, that they might kiss you on the mouth. You've seen crews, maybe you've seen the same crews in your area for a long time, that's super rare, but if you do and you can adopt them, you can ask them to do their laundry. To ask a lineman to do his laundry, you need to have it back to them within a few hours because they never know where they're gonna be. Most of the time, linemen are not gonna let you do their laundry even if they do know that they're gonna be in one area because you do need to know how to wash FR clothing. They wanna make sure they're gonna get all their stuff kept together. You might ask if they need their laundry done, more than likely they're gonna say no thanks. If you have a restaurant in town that's open and you wanna go ask the guys how many guys are in their crew and go buy them food, you you will be at the top of their list. Do see them in, their, in the same area. A good idea is to stop and say, hey, who's the foreman on this crew? And you can discuss everything with the foreman because a lot of the time the guys who are working are busy. If you're a line wife and you can think of anything else that you would put in this, or if you're a lineman and you're thinking of anything else that you would put in this, put it in the comments because I think that people really do want to help. We lived in South Florida up until last year and we lived through Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma was my daughter's birthday. I was out of power for two weeks while my husband was gone working on everybody else's power. And we ended up spending my daughter's birthday in the county commissioner's yard. His husband was working on his power at the time and he let us all park in the yard and we had 30 minutes to eat a pizza and sing happy birthday and then we had to get out of there and then we didn't see him again for I think it was another week at that point say a prayer for them wave to them let them know that you thank them and if you have a little kid that wants to like draw them a picture you want to see a grown man cry 